Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain times 8. I keep forgetting the, um, the gain level. It's 8, 9, and 10. So right here, this is a screen paint kit that I built about yesterday. It took me about an hour or so to put it together. This is a fixed frame screen using our one quart screen paint on the Supreme 8. I was able to build a pretty good size screen. It's about 80 or 90 inch screen using the blackout cloth surface that comes with it. So first things first, let me show you the product. There's one of my screens right there, fully lit environment, ultra short throw projector. But this is the kit that we used in this demonstration. So we used one quart of our Supreme 8 True Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint and the blackout cloth that comes free with the surface. Keep in mind, we ship this to you anywhere in the world for free. So in the bottom of the description, I will put a link where you can actually watch me build the very same screen that you're watching in the demonstration right now. So right here as you can see in my environment we have all our windows open except for the ones right here we can't open because that actually looks right into my neighbor's house we don't want that. so i'm going to show you the environment to show you how much lighting sorry about that i'm using my cell phone to do this recording so you will get from time to time some text messages um notifications or you might get somebody calling in and that's my bullhorn right there i usually have that on there on my phone just in case if i lose it i can find it in the house because i lose my phone quite a bit so i want you to show you exactly how well lit the environment is how much light we have how much light is pouring in as you can see we don't have any awnings blocking out any of the ambient light no dark shades halfway open the windows are fully ex exposed and there's plenty of light pouring in now the projector we use in the demonstration has plenty of power this is my sony vpl fh30 projector it is wxga and this projector comes in at 40 300 lumens it is 1920 by 1200 which is 1080p well actually a little volume 20 1080p and this projector is only with the contrast ratio i think it's 3000 2000 or 3000 to one now up on the screen we have a white screen sample sheet we have gray screen paint mix over here we have the dark star 9 which has a gain of turn it on to the back has a gain of 0 0.9 0.9 dark so 9 but we want to make sure we just don't do this against everyday gray screen paint that we can have this against a professional screen also too we also too have the gray cinema 5d which has a gain of 1.5 now i want to show you in this demonstration why contrast is everything and when you're dealing with a light gray screen or white gray screen you're just not going to be able to have the ability to be able to pull up proper contrast. And keep in mind, this contrast is everything, like I said, when it comes to a well-lit environment. As you can see, the uh, white screen is completely gone at 4,300 lumens. The gray screen paint mix is showing signs of gray, not black. This is a star field demonstration. It's supposed to be black. And then we get to the other screens, which are a little bit darker. Uh, the Dark Star 9 does not have the capability to pull, pull, pull full contrast sorry about that and then the gray cinema 5d all right so i got several demonstrations lined up on my cell phone bring my cell phone here we're streaming this through chromecast and we're going to pull up a few demonstrations here and just to show you that with our technology you do not have to be subjected to a dark environment i think i have my audio on too here we go Now, like I said before, these are demonstrations that you will never see a gray screen or white screen perform because in this kind of lighting, this screen would automatically wash out and fade. And this is the benefit of black technology. Oh, I forgot to tell you that the lights are on too, also too. I kind of forgot I had the lights on. Now, keep in mind, this technology is the best we're going to use this for commercial uses, such like churches. Areas are going to have a lot of uh, commercial lighting, a lot of window lighting, something you don't have to worry about your projector washing out or fading. Some people have problems in their churches where they can't read text. Uh, the image washes out because if you're using a white screen or gray screen this is one of the problems you're going to be plagued with as you can see with our technology even at 43 with a 4300 lumen projector a white screen or gray screen is not going to have the ability to be able to pull up and we're not that far from the screen 
With our technology, you can pull up without a problem. Without a problem, you can pull an image. All right, so let's go over here and let's pull up this one. Make sure that fish pulling up in all this ambient light. Now what I mean by our demonstrations are unmatched, you let me know how many people are doing demonstrations on this level. And it has nothing to do with the projector setting. Simple point that all screens are being hit with the same amount of ambient, not ambient light, but also to being hit with the same amount of lumens on my projector. Now, I want to show in the bottom of the uh, description area, also too, I will show you how I built the screen. I built this entire screen, I'd say an hour and probably about a good hour and 10 or maybe 15 minutes. Um, I'll post at the bottom showing you how easy you can utilize our kits and use it in a fully lit environment. This is what you call true ambient light rejection technology. That's why I don't approve, and honestly, truthfully, I don't approve of some of these screens out here that claim to be ambient light rejection when they're not being used in really in real 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 I mean realistic ambient light environments, not the ambient light controlled environment. Nothing controlled about this environment. Okay. Let's show you a Tron demonstration, a movie demonstration. Now we all know Tron is a very dark, dark movie. I can do this in a fully lit environment without the screen washing out or fading and maintain 100% contrast levels. I love doing this demonstration. Look at the backgrounds, look at this. Back up here and show you how much light enters this room, its environment. Keep in mind, we have window light from here, all the way from here, connecting with the screen. And like I said, no half shut blinds, no awnings, but to protect any kind of window light pushing in. And we just did this demonstration. We did a demonstration similar to this outside. Also, too, I'm gonna put that at the bottom. So I got one demonstration of me taking the screen outside, um, another demonstration of me have doing the screen inside, which we're doing right now. And I also have a demonstration of me building the screen. So I think for $178, you can get a true Amulite, true contrast projection screen that comes with the surface. And we can ship this to you, like I said, anywhere in the world for free. Now, for some of you may require signature confirm. We do have signature confirm. It is a free option. Just have to request it.
show you the angle gain on this technology. That's throwing some fish. You can see our screen can pull in a 100% blue level, which means if you look at the screen from edge to edge, it's blue. There's no tan in the screen. White screen completely washed out. The light gray screen cannot pull contrast. It looks faded. Now keep in mind, an elite screen is going to be able to perform much better than a white screen or gray screen paint mix any day. Even a white, white projection screen, a lead screen is always going to perform better. Even when it comes to a gray screen or gray screen paint mix, a lead screen is always going to be more advanced. But next to our technology, because our screen can pull a 100% black level, we're going to be a bit more advanced than those screens. I'll show you from different angles. We'll come over here on this end. I'm going to show you from this end over here. No matter what area we choose, we are going to still come up faded, as you can see. It's much ambient light hitting the screen. And as you can see, my screen is 100% black. I just want to tell you that contrast is everything. Let's pull up one more. My screen now this is an AR9. Well actually Amulet Rejection 9 on Ultra Short Throw. That's always fully the environment. We don't sit here in the dark. In any of my demonstrations, we don't do things in the dark. An ambient light rejection screen should have the ability to pull up in a fully lit environment with not a problem. But one of the things you're gonna have with these screens is the fact that they can't pull contrast. And if they can't pull contrast, that means anything that flashes up with a black level is gonna come up gray or tan. Now you can see they're pulling color with no problem. Anything that comes up with any kind of red or blue or green, any color, any colors are going to come up faded. Some of these screens will maintain the color, and lighter screens will not be have the ability to come up a kind of a faded red. But anything that flashes any form of black contrast will not pull up on the screen. Like I said, when it comes to OLED demonstration, the background is always supposed to be black. Look at the horse. Like I said, they can't do this demonstration. It's virtually impossible for them to do. See, the colors fade automatically. This is why these screens have to be in the dark. They have to be in the dark. They have to be in an ambient light controlled environment. Because if you put them in any form of real harsh lighting, they will wash out automatically. And all these screens, screens are being hit with the same caliber projector, 4300 lumens, same as ours. A 
the windows are open. All right, on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. This right here is our Supreme 8. We have it on our website for around $178. You can paint a screen size from 100 inch to 120 inch, 169, 1610, and 235.1 if your projector has the capability. It does come with a free blackout cloth surface, the same surface that's being used in the demonstration, as you can see. Here, I'm gonna show you again another recap right here. So like I said, we can ship this to you anywhere in the world for free. And I mean anywhere. It comes with one quarter of the screen paint. It comes with a blackout cloth, very easy to put together. Keep in mind the frame and brackets are not included. Thank you for your time. I have to go. Come back over here and look at my screen again. Looks absolutely amazing. I have to go and God bless. Let me get this area right there. There we go.